Hello, this is The Princess in Black Takes a Vacation. And if you've read the other Princess in Black books, you know that Princess in Black fights monsters. So she's probably ready for a vacation. Let's read this story. And go ahead and, and subscribe so you don't miss anything. And let's read The Princess in Black Takes a Vacation. <clears throat> Chapter 1. It was dawn. The princess in black had battled monsters all night, and so Princess Magnolia was tired. Princess Magnolia lay down on her fluffy princess bed. She closed her eyes. She was almost asleep when... Bring, bring the monster alarm, she muttered. Not again. She stumbled into the broom closet. She slipped off her frilly pajamas. She fell into her black costume. Now she was the princess in black, a very sleepy princess in black. She went down the secret chute onto the back of her pony, Blackie, and into the goat pasture, just as she had 14 other times that week. Roar, said a toothy monster. Did you say snore, asked the princess in black. The toothy monster shook its head. No, roar. The princess in black wished it had said snore. She wished she were snoring right then. Eat goats, said the monster. They're not your goats, the princess in black mumbled. They're Duff's goats. Go back to monster land. The toothy monster did not want to go back to monster land. The toothy monster was quite set on eating goats. So the toothy monster and the princess in black waged battle. Sleepy slam, sluggish swing, double doozy, dozy, doozy fling. The monster picked up the princess in black in its fist. It opened its toothy mouth. It roared again. The princess in black opened her mouth. She didn't roar back. She yawned. Just then, someone pulled the monster's tail. Chapter 2. A boy in a mask and cape pulled the monster's tail. A boy the princess in black had never seen before. Who are you? asked the princess in black. And where is Duff the goat boy? Yay! <laughs> I am the goat avenger, said the goat avenger. And Duff the goat boy is busy. Somewhere else, not here. The goat avenger was the same height as her friend Duff. He even had the same smile. But it couldn't be Duff. Duff did not wear a mask. That's funny, said the princess in black. Duff the goat boy is always here. This is his goat pasture. These are his goats. Eat goats, said the monster. The monster was still holding the princess in black. The monster still had a lot of teeth. You may not eat the goats, said the princess in black and the goat avenger. The monster win winced. There were too many people with masks. It was all very confusing. The monster put down the princess in black. It stuffed itself back into the hole. In monster land, no one wore masks. Chapter 3. That was the 15th monster this week, said the princess in black. She yawned again. She curled up on the grass. Blackie snuggled up beside her. You look tired, said the goat avenger. The princess in black closed her eyes. A goat licked her ear. She rolled over. Another goat nibbled her hair. You need a vacation, said the goat avenger. The princess in black opened one eye. What's a vacation, she asked. You take a break from work, he said. You go somewhere nice. You rest. That sounds amazing, but I can't take a vacation. Who would protect the goats? The goat avenger put his fist on his hip. Never fear, he said. The goat avenger is here. Chapter 4 A vacation, said the princess in black. She led Blackie back to the castle. A vacation, said the princess in black. She crawled back up the secret chute. A vacation, asked the princess in black. She shrugged into her frilly dress. 
she was no longer the princess in black. A vacation, said Princess Magnolia. The goat avenger would stay in the pasture. He would watch out for monsters and save the goats. Princess Magnolia packed. The best time to start a vacation was right now. Chapter 5. Princess Magnolia rode her bicycle to the seaside. After all, her pony deserved a vacation too. The air was salty. The sun was shiny. The sea was as blue as monster fur. It was a perfect day. Princess Magnolia lay down in a hammock. She closed her eyes. She was just about to snore when someone said, Hello, Princess Magnolia. Princess Nat Magnolia opened her eyes. Next to her was a pile of snacks. Beside the snacks was another hammock. On that hammock was a book. Behind the book was Princess Sneezewart. What a surprise, said Princess Magnolia in her cheeriest, sleepy voice. You sound tired, said Princess Sneezewort. You should take a nap. I'll make sure no one wakes you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Princess Sneezewort, said Princess Magnolia. Of course, she said. That's what friends are for. Princess Magnolia closed her eyes again. Later, Princess Sneezewort, Sneezewort whispered, we can play checkers. Princess Magnolia was just about to snore again when she heard a noise. Roar! Princess Magnolia kept her eyes shut. A monster? On the perfect beach? Impossible. Roar! Princess Magnolia squeezed her eyes shut her. Maybe she was already asleep. Maybe she was dreaming. Roar! Princess Magnolia peeked with one eye. A huge head rose out of the water. The head was on a long neck. The neck was attached to a massive body. A sea monster was terrorizing her perfect beach. Sorry, said Princess Sneezewort. I didn't know how to make sure a sea monster didn't wake you. And Princess Magnolia didn't know how to make sure a sea monster didn't hurt Princess Sneezewort. Princess Magnolia wore glass flip-flops. Princess Magnolia sunburned easily. Second-story windows made Princess Magnolia feel woozy. Princess Magnolia could not fight a sea monster. Chapter 6 The Goat Avenger stood tall in the goat pasture. Fists on hips, chin raised, smile sparkling, he waited for monsters to come. The goats chewed some grass. The goat avenger chopped at the air. He rolled on the grass. He said, yeah. The goats swallowed. Then they chewed some more grass. The goat avenger tried out some catchphrases. Back, monsters. Back to your infernal pit. Beware. Watch out. Shoo. One of the goats burped. The Goat Avenger went over to the hole. Monsterland was down there. All week long, monsters had been climbing out of that hole. The Goat Avenger had created his own monster alarm using ropes and bells, but nothing moved. Hello? The Goat Avenger whispered. Monsters? The goats chewed more grass. See the bells. Chapter 7. Maybe if I just lie here, the monster will go away, thought Princess Magnolia. Roar, said the sea monster. Eat people. The people on the beach screamed. People are screaming, said Princess Sneezewort. People ran. People are running, said Princess Sneezewort. Should we run too? People dropped ice pops in the sand. That boy dropped his ice pop in the sand, said Princess Sneezewort. Eat people, roared the sea monster. People yum. Princess Magnolia sighed. You're right, Princess Sneezewort, she said. We should run. Some say that princesses don't run, but these two did. They ran very fast. Princess Sneezewort ran toward an ice pop stand. Princess Magnolia ran toward a bathing tent. She needed her disguise and fast. 
Nobody knew that prim and perfect Princess Magnolia was secretly the princess in black, but she had to keep the sea monster from eating people, especially Princess Sneezewort. After all, that's what friends are for. Chapter 8 Duff the Goat Boy sat and watched the goats chew. His mask had itched, his cape had chafed, so he'd taken them off. He wished he'd brought a book. <laughs> Clang, clang, clang. The monster alarm, said Duff. Duff shoved on his mask. He tied on his cape. He was no longer Duff the goat boy. The goat avenger put his fists on his hips and said, Ha ha! Nothing came out of the hole. Clang, clang. The rope on the monster alarm was wiggling. The goat bells were clanging, but there was no monster in sight. Chapter 9 the princess in black stood on the beach. She said, Sea monster, you may not eat people. Roar, said the sea monster. Its tail slapped the water. A wave crashed to shore. Maybe it can't hear me, she thought. The princess in black climbed onto a rock. She cupped her hands around her mouth. She said, Behave, beast. Roar, said the sea monster. Its tail whipped the beach. It barely missed the ice pop stand. Maybe it still can't hear me, she thought. She leaped onto its tail. She started to run up. Suddenly the tail lifted into the air. The princess in black slipped. Then she slipped some more. She grabbed the tail and hugged it tight. Don't look down, she told herself. She looked down. She gasped. The bathing tents looked like pebbles. The people looked like ants. A bird landed on her shoulder. Squawk, said the princess in black. That meant, could you fly me down? Squawk, squawk, said the bird. That meant, so sorry, but you're too heavy. Squawk, said the princess in black. That meant, this was supposed to be a vacation. Chapter 10. The Goat Avenger squinted into the hole. Not so much as a tentacle appeared. Then what was setting off the monster alarm? A mystery. The Goat Avenger straightened his mask. He loosened his cape. A little too tight. He loosened his cape. No, he tightened his cape. A little too tight. He loosened his cape. Then he followed the rope back to a tree. A furry creature was caught in the rope. It was flailing. It was squeaking. It was a squirrel. Clang, clang. At last, a monster, said the goat avenger. A nearby goat bleated doubtfully. A squirrel could be a monster, the goat avenger explained to the doubtful goat. If you're an acorn, the goat avenger freed the squirrel. He said, don't eat any goats. The squirrel squeaked. It ran off. Off, uh, ran away, off to find acorns to terrorize. The goat said, Ma, that probably meant that they were proud of the goat avenger. But the goat avenger shrugged. He had had his heart set on a real monster, a scary monster. Chapter 11. The sea monster's tail was long, narrow, and slick. It reminded the princess in black of her secret shoot. That gave her an idea. Swoop! If she hadn't been so tired, the sliding would have been a lot of fun. The sea monster's back was soft and springy like her mattress. She had to jump to get across it. If she hadn't been so tired, the jumping would have been a lot of fun. The sea monster's neck was high as a tower. She had to climb to get up. Actually, even though she was tired, the climbing was a lot of fun. She wondered about getting a sea monster for a pet, but it would never fit in her moat. At last, she reached its head. The sea monster tried to bat her off, so the princess in black and the sea monster waged battle. Serpent slip, forehead crash, twinkle, twinkle, little smash. She skimmed down to the tip of its nose. She looked it square in the eyes. Eat people, said the sea monster. No, said the princess in black. You may not eat people. The sea monster, monster could hear her now. It frowned. 
No, no, she said. The sea monster sniffled. Its neck drooped, its tail sagged. Um, you could eat fish, said the princess in black. The sea monster straightened up. Yes, it said, eat fish. The monster dove back into the sea. The princess in black had no choice but to follow. Chapter 12. The Goat Avenger swung in a hammock. He sipped lemonade. He read a comic book. The squirrel hopped onto his shoulder. The Goat Avenger shared his lemonade. It was a good day. Clang, clang, clang. Probably another squirrel, said the Goat Avenger. He stood up and turned around. An acorn-shaped monster with one huge eye lurked beside the hole. Ah, said the Goat Avenger. Roar, said the acorn-shaped monster. Squirrel, said the Goat Avenger. Terrorize that acorn. Squeak, said the squirrel. Ah, said the acorn-shaped monster. It leapt, leaped back into the hole. The Goat Avenger put his fists on his hips. He had done it. After all, he had saved the squirrel, and the squirrel had scared away the monster. Thanks to him, the goats were safe. And somewhere, thanks to him, the princess in black was having a vacation. Chapter 13. The sea monster plunged into the water. The ocean rose up. A wave formed, and the princess in black was on top of it. Then the water washed away her disguise. The wave rolled her to an island. It dumped her on the shore. Princess Magnolia looked around. The island was tiny, nothing for miles. No screaming people, no ear-licking goats, and no monsters. It was perfect. Princess Magnolia curled up in the shade of the coconut tree. Vacation, she said. She closed her eyes. She said, snore. And then she did just that. And there's her friend that's going to come over in the boat and get her. And that was called The Princess in Black Takes a Vacation. How did you like that vacation, huh? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you subscribe, and I hope you come back often. See you next time on Stories with Grandma.